We're currently up here in Thule Air Force Base in Northwest Greenland, deploying some oceanographic buoys uh, at a Royal Danish Air Force C-130 uh, in support of the International Arctic Buoy Program that's a collaboration with the Office of Naval Research. Two years ago, we established the International Cooperative Engagement for Polar Research, or ICE Paper, which is a new multinational effort. And out of those discussions, we had a meeting with the Danish military in May uh, of 2017. And so out of those discussions, the new Danish Arctic Command was very gracious in providing us some support and opportunities to deploy these buoys for the first time ever out of not only Greenland with Danish Air Force assets, but also only the second time over the North Pole. So Thule gives us a unique area to base our operation out of. One, it's got a great logistical support network uh, with the United States Air Force. It also has an excellent cooperation with the, with the Danish government that operates the base up here. That'll basically allow us to use this as a launching point to get into the high Arctic. So these buoys that we're deploying are airborne seasonal ice beacons. We'll push them out of the airplane. Uh, they have basic fundamental meteorological sensors of air pressure, air temperature, and they also measure surface temperature and have GPSs so we know they are, where they are. It's basically a buoy that can survive for multiple years in the seasonal ice zone, melt out in the summer, survive storms and crunching sea ice. It's a pretty harsh environment now. The National Ice Center uses data from the Arctic buoys in assisting in determining and forecasting sea ice conditions, which we provide to government vessels uh, such as U.S. submarines, Coast Guard icebreakers and cutters operating near the ice, as well as research vessels that have scientific missions near the uh, sea ice. This also reduces risks to our forces and anyone operating in the Arctic or other just commercial vessels as well by providing them more accurate forecasts. So the fact that we could you know, jump on a Royal Danish C-130 and drop the buoys over the North Pole, it's a pretty rare event. Deploying these buoys in this part of the Arctic Ocean is going to be a benefit to all the countries that are involved in gaining a data source in an area that has very few observations currently. So that's going to improve both meteorology and oceanography models. For this effort in particular with these buoy deployments, this is a perfect example that under this framework for ice paper, we're able to have a U.S., Canadian, and Danish joint effort together to achieve this through both the buoy drops and the deployment, and then of course the data particularly from the National Ice Center and the Office of Naval Research, is then available for all sorts of ships and other vessels that are deploying into the Arctic so that safety at sea, navigational ability can be supported by this data.